Celine Dion's voice may be one of the finest voices that we've ever heard. She is one of the greatest singers to have graced the industry. She is definitely gorgeous inside and out. However, her life took a turn for the worst. This is the story of Celine Dion's greatest challenge. Her life was never dull. Many people admire Celine Dion due to her resilience and talent. From the beginning, she had many obstacles to overcome. Her life is never dull. It still isn't smooth sailing, even now that she has managed to reach an incredible level of success. She had to learn how to handle her career with a controversial relationship and many health issues. Despite all of this, she never fails to look happy and give her best during performances. Her husband's diagnosis. In 1999, she received devastating news regarding her husband. Renee was confined in the hospital because of throat cancer. Her husband's diagnosis. This required Celine to look after him all the time. Renee's health problem became a major trial in her career. Celine did everything she can to help her husband have the best quality of life possible. Celine's mom hated her relationship. Her mother disapproved of the relationship from the very beginning. Celine's mom hated her relationship. Celine explained, When I told her I had some really strong feelings for Renee, she tried everything to kill him and make me snap out of it. I was very frustrated and mad at first, but she tried to make me understand that this man tried marriage twice before. He has three children, he's not responsible, I want the perfect Prince Charming for you. She had problems conceiving. Amidst concerts and tours, Celine took a well-deserved break from her career in 2000 for her family. Celine went through two in vitro fertilization procedures to boost the chance of conception. She had problems conceiving. They decided to go with this route after their numerous unsuccessful attempts with her husband. Finally, Celine was able to give birth to her first child named Renee Charles Dion Angelo in 2001. She almost died. Celine was only five years old when she almost died. She almost died. A truck hit her, and she would be in comatose for a week. Luckily, she recovered totally from the fractured skull she suffered from the accident. She hated My Heart Will Go On. We were all captivated by the song, My Heart Will Go On, when it first started playing in Titanic. But did you know that Celine Dion had doubts about this song? I did another song for a movie before. She hated My Heart Will Go On. She believed it would not get famous and will even affect her singing career negatively. Celine said in an interview that she disliked the song. I didn't really like the song at first. They called her a traitor. Another Celine Dion chart topper song was featured in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. She won her first Grammy from this performance. They called her a traitor. Even with the success, the song caused an enormous backlash from her Quebecois fans. Because of this, Celine declined the English Artist of the Year award at Felix Awards to show that she took pride in being French-Canadian. Celine wasn't planned. Many don't know that Celine is the youngest of 14 children in a family that was financially unstable. Apparently, Destiny had other plans. Advertisement. Celine wasn't planned. Her mother didn't plan on having any more kids after giving birth for the 13th time. When Celine was still a baby, she actually had to sleep in a cabinet drawer because there were no more beds available. Her husband put his foot down. Renee was instrumental in recording Celine's My Heart Will Go On. He convinced Celine that this song will be a big hit. In an interview with Jonathan Ross, she recalled, Angelo said, let's just do a demo. Her husband put his foot down. Let's give it a try and we'll see after. The demo is actually the real recording. I never sang the song again. The rest was history and the song from 1997 film Titanic won several awards. This song will forever be Celine's trademark song. A shark when it comes to business. Therese Tangwe Dion, Celine's mother, is a renowned chef in Quebec. Now we know where Celine's passion and skills in cooking came from. A shark when it comes to business. Celine herself established her first restaurant in Quebec in 1990. Just like her songs, it was a big hit. After much success, she decided to expand Nichols and opened other locations throughout Canada.